Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are... Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and today I hope you are having an amazing day today. It's beautiful here in Georgia. And for tonight's meal for me and Kevin, we're going to be having uh, butter beans and hot water cornbread and uh, onions. And also, we're going to be having buttermilk. Some people don't like buttermilk, but we down here, we love it. <laughs> and also, I'd like to thank one of our viewers for recommending us to do these butter beans. Because me and Calvin had intended to do these butter beans um, a week or two ago. And so, she reminded us of it. And so, uh, we're really looking forward to them tonight. And uh, I also know that some people put different seasonings in their butter beans, different kinds of meat and different things like that. But I'm putting ham hock in mine. And um, I'm also going to be putting some chicken broth in it. A teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I let my beans soak overnight. And so... Uh, some people say you can skip that step, and some people say it's an important step, but me and Kevin usually do it. And I got these um, large llamas down at Piggly Wiggly's. Some people in different parts of the country, they pay more for their lima beans, and we were paying a lot more, but I think they've come down here, and uh, so uh, they're not very expensive here right now. So uh, let me get started on uh, these beans and also for our meal today we're going to have hot water cornbread and this is in my cookbook called the greatest eats um, country music's greatest eats and one of my uh, subscribers named lisa's uh, her channel is lisa's paradise she sent this book to me and i've been wanting to try this uh, hot water cornbread and it's going to be up to 90 degrees today so I'm not looking to turn on my oven <laughs> and so that's one of the reasons why I'm uh, going to put cook this in my cast iron skillet on the top of my stove okay so um, let me get my beans in my crock pot these are some really big plump beans after they soaked all night. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to be putting in two cups of chicken broth. And this is three cups of water. And you want your beans to be covered. So I'm going to put in my uh, salt and black pepper. And this uh, recipe will be in the description below. Okay, so now then I'm going to put in my uh, ham hocks. Okay, everyone, I got my ham hocks in my beans now, and so I'm going to be cooking these for about six to eight hours, and so when I come back, um, we'll get started on the hot water cornbread. And also on that hot water cornbread, um, I like to put a little ketchup on mine. Calvin was looking at me kind of funny yesterday when I was doing that. <laughs> but anyway, that's the way I like to eat mine. 
my beans are over here and my crock pot is still cooking. And so now I'm going to make my hot water cornbread. This right here is a cup of cornmeal, self rising. And this right over here is a cup of hot water. So I'm just going to pour that in and stir this all up. And then uh, over here in my pan, I've got all my oil heat mat. This sort of looks like potato pancakes. <laughs> so you want to cook this about two minutes on each side. I was telling Carolyn that you could also put some onion in this batter and a little bit of jalapeno pepper in it and really make them, kick them up a notch. <laughs> Hot water cornbread has just got through cooking. Um, I went ahead and uh, let them cook about three minutes on each side, and uh, they turned really good and golden brown, and they're real crunchy. That's what me and Kevin like about them. When you bite down into them, they've got that good crunch to them. So uh, they're done right now, and so my uh, butter beans are over there still cooking. Hi everyone, I'm uh, back now and my beans have been cooking for about um, eight hours. And uh, I'm going to get my uh, ham hocks out and uh, spread them. And then put them back in the pot. <laughs> They're so tender that they're just about coming off the bone. And they do smell amazing. Spread this up. Okay, I've got all that shredded up now. 
and got the fat over here. So I'm going to put my ham back in my um, butter beans or lima beans, whichever one you want to call them. <laughs> plate of beans. Mm, they look really good with that ham in it. Okay. And let's see. I have a good old slice of onion and a glass of buttermilk. And this is our hot water cornbread right here and um, I put ketchup on mine but Calvin doesn't <laughs> so that's what I'll be putting on mine so uh, I'm going to do the taste test now and a lot of people don't like buttermilk but when we have a, a good old country meal like this me and Calvin like uh, a glass of buttermilk with ours These just came out of the crock pot, but I've been smelling them all day, and they do smell wonderful. So I'm going to do the taste test. Mmm. Those are amazing. They're full of flavor. So, uh, if y'all try this meal, I think you'll really enjoy it. So now I'm going to eat my... Um, hot water cornbread. So here we go. Mm. It is really good too. But I am missing my ketchup. So I'm going to put me just a dab of ketchup on it. This is the way I like it. <laughs> mm. It's so good. <laughs> so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. my